The next step is to determine a color scheme. One of the differences between a painting and a photo is that a photo has a random color scheme, while a painting has a chosen one. Sometimes the photo's colors lend themselves to a color scheme. In this case, there were shades of red in the flowers and the skin, and shades of green, red's color complement or opposite color on the color wheel, in the leaves. Meanwhile, there were shades of yellow in the hair. If I added yellow's complement, violet, I'd have two colors and their complements as my color scheme. In the painting, I painted with various tones and shades of red, green, yellow, and violet, repeating the colors throughout the painting to create color harmony. The more you paint, the more you cover up the photo, making it difficult to see the tones in the photo. Turning on tracing paper lets you see your source photo's tones for reference as you paint. Choosing File Clone Earlier set up the link between the source photo and the painting that Painter uses to enable tracing paper. To turn on tracing paper, press Command on Mac, Control on Windows, and type a T. Repeat to turn off tracing paper. You can also turn on tracing paper by choosing it in the Canvas menu. Repeat to turn it off. When tracing paper is turned on, you see a 50% non-printing ghost of the photo. When tracing paper is off, you just see your painting clone without the photo. Tracing paper is a ghost. This is what the image looks like with tracing paper turned off. If I were to print this image, it would look like this. Not like this, which is what it looks like with tracing paper turned on. painted catch lights with the sharp chalk. I chose a lighter tone in the colors palette. I lowered the brush width with the keyboard shortcut you just saw. I lowered the opacity to 30% by typing a 3 at the top of the keyboard. And then I painted. Mm -hmm. 